The new flagship makes its debut. It's October 2009 outside the Airbus plant in Toulouse. The Lufthansa A380 is waiting to take off for the first time. It's three and a half million parts about to soar together through the sky. This is the big moment. It's airborne. Job number one has been accomplished. A few days later, the big bird is flying through the skies over Hamburg. There's tension on the ground as the first German A380 comes home to Germany. There are three seats on the plane, two for the test pilots and one for the engineer. But that's about to change. Once in the hangar, the airplane is turned into a giant construction site. One of the busiest people here is Axel Link. He's in charge of the interior. The Lufthansa A380 is, of course, new territory for him. He and his team work their way down, installing the overhead compartments as well as the ventilation and electrical systems first. Then it's time for quality control. The customer will be here to do the inspection. If there are any problems, he'll write them up. If not, we'll get the all clear to start putting it together. The customer is the man in the dark shirt, Lufthansa representative Heiner Kremer. He and his team make regular inspections to see how the money is being spent. These compartments need to be able to hold 35 kilos. We want things to be the level of quality the passenger expects. Of course, the final inspection comes later. But it's great if things are the way they're supposed to be so far. So is we sign so. The plane costs around 300 million euros. Lufthansa pays the money in installments as the work proceeds. Each airline has its preferences, which complicates things. Airbus has 10 weeks to install the interior components of this A380 for Lufthansa. Subsequent models won't take as long. Axel Link has been called to the middle cabin section where his workers are making progress. The technician makes another check. The oxygen is connected and the inspectors will make sure everything's right and the oxygen containers are correctly hooked up and everything's well sealed. Then quality control gives the go-ahead and we close it up. Hello. Hello. Where should I go? I'm in zone four. It's a call from the cockpit. There, too, the time pressure never stops. Link has been summoned. Ten meters down on the hangar floor, Kramer moves on to the next issue. The business class seats have arrived. Here the passengers are allotted a full half meter, standard for this class. And not only that, the seats unfold into beds. With all this space, you can snore without bothering anybody. Or if you know each other well, you can pull the divider down. <laughs> the interior alone is costing Lufthansa around 30 million euros. For that money, the airline expects a tailor-made product. If it's any different to company wishes, Kramer might have to renegotiate. It's possible for some deviation to occur. That doesn't mean they'll necessarily drop the price, but there is some leeway in the negotiation process. Axel Link goes up to talk to the French colleagues. Things are getting tight for the mechanics who have to be finished with the interior by mid-January.
and that doesn't even include the instrument panel in the cockpit.